But my sister recently got married, man. She got married last year. It was a beautiful wedding. Uh, it, was on, it was on May 2nd, too, and we had lowriders, mariachis, the whole thing, you know. All the white people thought it was a Cinco de Mayo parade. Oh, it's a Cinco de Mayo parade here. I don't know. It's my sister getting married, man. But uh, she married a white guy, too. Never thought that would happen. She never dated a white guy. First white guy she dated, she ends up marrying him, you know. And he's blonde-haired, blue-eyed, and down full of familia. You know, so I'm like, I'm like all right, dude, welcome to the family, man. He's a good dude. <laughs> So, you know, now when our family barbecues get out of control, we have our spokesperson to talk to the cops for us, you know, like, <laughs> hold on, officer. It's just a little cumbia music, okay? Don't be afraid of it here. Have a taco, they're delicious. Nah, but it's great, man, it's beautiful, so. So they're gonna get these kids, man. They're planning to have these grandbabies, and I'm excited. I want to be a Theo. My mom and dad are getting older, though, right? And they went through, like, their midlife crisis, all that. So now they're like, oh, we're gonna have our grandbabies, so we need to be healthy now. So they got on this health tip, man. And they got on this organic juicing hype. You guys are familiar with this. They go to farmer's market once a week, buy everything organic, and they're juicing now. Which is crazy for me, because growing up, like a chunk of lard, manteca, was the first thing that went on the pan, you know what I mean? It was like carnitas, carne asada, tripas, you know, like a jug of Kool-Aid and contest. And it's like, here's dinner. We're like, all right, yeah, you know? Now I go visit them, I'm like, hey, guys, where's the meat at? No, mijo, we're juicing now. <laughs> juicing? What the hell? I have pictures of my birthday parties, man. I had these pictures. I'm turning like four or five years old. My dad's in the background with his Dickies crease. You know, his Pendleton flannel shirt button up to the top, but I'm buttoned right here. He's looking all proud from the distance. Hey, it's my son over there, yeah. <laughs> Got him a cake and shit. Now he's leaving the house in his Nike workout clothes, man. So funny. But he still has his big ass mustache, you know, and his tattoo, you know, just leaving the house like, all right, mijo, hey, uh, I'm going spinning. All right, uh. If you need things from Whole Foods, hey, let me know, you know, I'm like, no, dad, I don't need things from Whole Foods, but I'm gonna go spinning, man. <laughs> you guys go spinning, right, when they get on the bikes, they go this way, that way, man. I went with them one time, it was the cutest scene, man, I don't tell them I said that, but, you know, there's sweat dripping off his big old mustache. There's, like, this overly aggressive white lady named Becky yelling at him, you know, like, come on, Lorenzo, you can do this, you know. But I was like, all right, Becky, all right, I got it, hey, fuck, we're gonna do it. You know, I'm like, like hell yeah, pops do that, man. <laughs> Man, before I get out of here, I'll leave with this, man. True story really happened. Maybe think it's funny, maybe not. But when my mom and dad started our family, we had a one-bedroom apartment, right? But we always had everything we needed. We had a good life. Food on the table, roof over our head. And they worked hard, man, seven days a week. One day, they were, they were afford a house, right? So we got a house. We had a front yard and a backyard. Couldn't afford the wild grass at first, but we had dirt to play with. We're like, all right, cool, homie. Uh, but there were these kids in the neighborhood playing with their toys, man. I mean, my sister had many toys at the time. And there was this one foreign kid, white kid with a, a bug catching it. He had an accent. He's out there kind of rubbing it in our face. You know, like, oh, mother, look, I fetch another monarch, let's enjoy its beauty, shall we? And so we're like, hey, I want to catch some monarchs, I want a bug catching net. So I go to my mom, hey, mom, I want a bug catching net. She said, yeah, bug catching net. You have food on the table and roof over your head, now go to your room and be grateful. So I go to the room and close the door, and I'm crying, dang, I want a bug catching net. Yeah. I'm here knocking the door, man, true story, this is real love. I opened the door, my mom made me a bug catching net out of a wire hanger and old pair of medias, her pantyhose. Yeah, I was out there, I was like, hey, hell yeah. He's out there with no shame in front of the white people, like, yeah, you know? <laughs> the little kid's like, what is that? I'm like, it's my mom's media. What's a media? I don't know, it's my mom's media. We're trying my bug catching territory, sure, you know? Except my bugs were dying on impact. It was an old pair of pantyhose, you know what I mean? Just bzzz. But my dad gets home from work, right? Pulls up in his work truck in the driveway, gets out, sees me playing with this thing, you know? He's like, mijo, is that what I think it is? I'm like, well, yeah, dad. He's like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And my name's Frankie Kinnell, it's always been a pleasure, one love.